Uh, most Oh, great, King, shut up. Most people don't want Game Pass. If you're an adult, you mostly own the games or don't care for it. That's just nonsense, pal. That's like suggesting that most adults don't want Netflix. If you're an adult, why would you, why would you watch Queen's Gambit on the Netflix? You just go out and you buy it. That is such a capitalistic bullshit idea that is like, it's almost like virtue signaling or it's almost like flexing like I'm an adult. I can buy my own shit. Yeah, you can. So can I. But guess what? If it's on Netflix, like WandaVision, I'm going to watch WandaVision episode three this weekend, pal. Uh, You think I'm going to go out and buy it if I could? Why would I buy it? Yes, I'm an adult. Yes, I pay, you know, uh, uh, what's the goddamn uh, uh, taxes. Yes, I do all the adult things, but I'm not going to throw my money in a fucking hole. Okay, Matt says, I only have Xbox Gold. I don't use Game Pass. I prefer to own my games forever rather than wonder when it will be removed. I understand that, Matthias, but my question, though, is, like, I'll give you a great example. I have fallen in love with Monster Train. I would have never tried Monster Train if it was not on Game Pass, okay? When they come to me, assuming I'm still playing it, and I'm playing it five fucking times a day, it's a goddamn joy. Um, if they come to me and I'm still playing it and they say, Hey, we're getting rid of monster train. I'll, I'll drop ducats. I'll buy it. Um, I totally get that, but I don't understand why I would want to own a game. Uh, like I'm playing doom eternal right now. I really like doom eternal, but I probably will never finish it because it's just too goddamn hard. It's, it's hard to the the point of just being uh, the cadence of that game for me is I don't mind hitting a hard section every hour. But every new section I hit these days is like, oh, here we go. Buckle up, bitch. You know, I'm never going to buy that game. Why would I want to have bought it if I could just experience it for a few days and move on? So I I don't I just I don't I don't see how that uh, that 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 mentality, Matt, works. But I appreciate it. I mean, if that's what you got, that's what you got. Jaffe in reality says, Ethan, how many Game Pass games will you finish? I don't know. Maybe none. It's, I don't care if I finish them. I just want to play them. So we got a guy or a lady. I can't tell because it's the icon. I'll assume it's, it sounds like a guy name, but I've never heard this name. Your name is Ruchel. I'm not going to lie. They say Game Pass really helps out people who can't afford $60 frequently. Well, that is absolutely true, but that's to assume, I, I, like I said, I think there is this thing going on with Game Pass or subscription services where the people who have an inherent problem with them, that's kind of this flex or insult that I've started to see recently thrown around about them. Like, oh, well, yeah, but if you were an adult, like somebody was saying, I forget, or um, if, you know, if you just were rich or had money, it's just like, that's just ridiculous because you don't say the same thing about Netflix or Disney plus or Hulu. You don't sit there and go, why didn't you go out and buy uh, wonder woman 84? Why didn't you go out and buy soul on Blu-ray? Well, because it was fucking on a subscription service. I, I don't understand it. Yeah. Jordan says, do you think everyone with Netflix can afford to go to a theater? Exactly. Exactly. Pixel bit says, I agree with this. Pixel bit says, People come up with idiotic logic to talk about Game Pass. I've been gaming 30 years. You're a damn fool not to save a buck. Well, that's true. And it's not just saving a buck, though. It's look at all the shit you get to try. I'm not denying there's, there, there is absolute value in physical. But again, why would you... You know, for me, the, the Blu-rays I buy on the infrequent times that I buy them anymore is because I've fallen in love with the movie. It's like, oh, the Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy is on Blu-ray and there's all this cool stuff. Okay, I want that. But if I go out and I watch, you know, the latest uh, Liam Neeson action movie, I'm not like, oh, yeah, I have to own that. I got to give these guys 30 bucks the day it comes out for a fucking Liam Neeson action film. It's kind of ridiculous. PS Plus collection, better quality. I I don't agree with you versus Doctor. I mean, I agree with you in the sense that there are some great games on there, but... There, there aren't that many and they're really old, but they're great. Absolutely. Grape King says, I own most games on Game Pass. LOL. They are old. No, they're not. Would you like me to bring it up and show you? They're certainly not as old as the games on PS Now, which I also have. It's not a competition. I mean, it is a competition for the companies, but it is absolutely not a competition for gamers, gamers should just embrace shit, man. They should just be like, hey, that's cool. That's not cool. I like this. Let me show you. These are not old games. Desperados just came out, okay? Now, yes, there are some legacy games on here, 
Um, Neoverse just came out. Gears of War Hive Busters just came out. Microsoft Flight Sim just came out. Wasteland 3 came out like five months ago. Where is the PlayStation game first party that came out five months ago? Call of the Sea just came out a month ago. You are just simply wrong if you say these are old games. Cyber Shadow is dropping day one. The Medium is dropping day one. Um, it's just, it, you're, ab, you're, you know, the reason I even get on this kick sometimes is that it really bothers me. It really bothers me that my fellow gamers are so tribal that they can't even appreciate something good that's in front of them. I don't care if you like Sony more than Xbox. It's none of my fucking goddamn business. It's none of my fucking business, and I don't give a fuck either way what you like in terms of your console. Go As long as you like gaming, we're in the same goddamn tribe. I don't give a fuck. But to look at this and, 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 and treat it with the, with, the, with, the, uh, with the level of just sort of shit takes that a lot of y'all do is, is just so, it, it's, it just indicates such an insecurity because I get that you could look at this and say, I don't like Annapurna games. I don't like Edith Finch. That's Annapurna. I don't, you know, I've already played Gears of War. I get that. I respect that. But to act like this as Wavemaster says, I've never seen anyone so passionate for Game Pass as Jaffe. Wavemaster, it's less about Game Pass. That, that's what I'm saying. I, I get that. I, like, if you look at this on the surface, if you look at this on the surface and you say, God, Jaffe, are they paying you for Game Pass? It's not really about Game Pass that gets me so um, passionate. It's, it's going... You guys were gamers, man. That should be the thing we pray to, not the companies. And I mean, you can sit around and you can act like, you know, The Last of Us Part 2 is a better game than Gears 5. Probably is. I haven't played The Last of Us Part 2. But Gears 5 is fun. Hive Busters was really fun to play multiplayer the other day on stream. You can sit around and act like God of War 2018 is a better game than what remains of Edith Finch. It may be, but that doesn't take away that this is one of the most brilliant story-based games ever in the medium. And instead, it's just like, it's trash. It's crap. It's like, really? That just seemed, that's why I'm passionate. Not because I want Game Pass to succeed, but because I don't understand the psychology behind the vitriol against things like this. Um, and it bothers me. It confuses me and it bothers me.